of the neighbor's homes. Not too far from uh, Broderful Avenue and gas station down there. I usually, I've seen some closer to the gas station, but this one's far enough that you don't really, you actually feel like you're in a neighborhood, so. That would be up to your preference. Uh, and the lockbox, it's nice to have a little keypad there. And then, do do, uh, storage size living room, and then kitchen. You do have enough room for a little eating table there, and a uh, Wurlitzer shoot uh, box. Looks like these are nice, uh, the nicely refinished, the hardwoods. And then you've seen all this in the pictures. What do you do? Uh, oh, okay. That was a can opener. I love having some bottle openers. Uh, coat closet slash vacuum area. Probably looking at what's here. Most people would use that as a Probably take out the closet and use it as a pantry. Does not look like there's much other space. We'll see how uh, how minimalistic you can go. I believe this is a bachelor, so he does not need a ton of space, but if you like cooking, he'll definitely use that as a pantry. <laughs> so all this stuff is like as compact as can be. Um, I mean, it looks good. It's just really got the, uh, these appliances for a reason to make the most out of space, but they've done a good job doing that. This is pretty cool. Those little, little ant farm in there. Do do do, nice and thick. Uh, downstairs. No, we'll start upstairs. So I'd probably ask me to leave all those nice shelves that are the top quality. We got nest. Uh, so the hardwoods are throughout, they're really nice. Some penny tile in here, I like. I mean, it kind of looks like a little European bathroom. You have a small sink and toilet. Nice shower, I do like the tiles. And then medicine cabinet. Oh, there I am. So, just good use of space. Definitely minimalistic. And then, bedroom. Looks like a basic size. It does have French doors. He does not have a deck. So you better jump out there. It's about a two foot drop. Uh, probably had plans to do a deck. A deck would be really nice. It looks like there's, he's about halfway through the fencing and it is really high. That'll be really nice when it's done. I'd probably ask for that to be done. Although, at the discounted price that it's coming at, you might want to do that yourself. Um, Cause it's like one way or another. Either we ask off on the price or ask them to do a bunch of stuff. It's hard to get both. So, I mean, nice, nice details on the doors. Basic newer knobs. I do. At least he's, looks like most of these have been redone. Like, he, he's definitely a woodworker or knows one. This is the dog room, I guess. Uh, probably the guest room, and there's probably two ugly closets here at one time that have been taken out, these those marks. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. For some reason, I used to do those closets. They just took up too much space, so made a better use of that. And closet. Do -do. And we'll go to the basement. All right, going down. It's like a, uh, oh, cool. A little doggy door. Although that's just high enough for your ankles that you would probably kill yourself if you trip over it. And what hit first down here? Ooh. 
that stair has a little give to it. That's something the inspector might say something about. Or that's just the style of these that they're on, but the metal is going to have a little bit of give to it. That's the uh, give and take of being a minimalist. Sometimes not the best support. All right, through here you have a full bath, which is really nice. Mm -mm. Got the sliding door, barn door, and tiny little sink, tiny little shelf. But definitely good use of space. Ooh. And then nice finish on the concrete. Just a rough but clean look. You got your drum circle over here. Uh, probably just a. What is that? Does that move? No. Probably just blocking something, just a way to finish off the rough wall. Uh, probably a lot. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? Fuse box. Now, I mean, everything's just cleaned up really nice through here. It does not feel like a normal basement. And then you have your wet bar. Nice little light. Uh, fridge. Sink. And a nice door through here. So, all in all, hello. Uh, pretty cool space. And through here, probably just utilities. Little barn door. Oh, yeah, you have the uh, nice washer and dryer. I would ask to keep those. Utility sink. Uh, new flex plumbing. And. You know, just, just, it's all good. Old Jane's addiction. Took that down for the showings. That's it. That's a wrap. All right, back here. That's where that drop off is right now. Be nice to have a deck. The garage is kind of minimalist as well. It's barely six feet tall. Fit a Mini Cooper back there pretty easily. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, this would be nice for pets and everything. Um, once that's finished, we'll have a nice, nice little private backyard. And that is all. Have a great day. Bye. found JJ to be a highly creative marketer and savvy negotiator. I've also appreciated JJ's ability to partner with me to meet my goals as a seller, buyer, and rental owner.